Good evening. Tonight I have six true alien encounters for you. Hold on to your seats and be sure to watch for them UFO lights. Please enjoy. Now, this was bizarre. A very bizarre conversation I had with my friend. About three years ago, me and my then at the time friend were out drinking with a bunch of our other friends. The remainder decided to call it a night and go home. However, me and my friend decided to get a cab back to my place. I'll go pick up some cocaine and we'll go and wander onto a nearby field, sniff some, and just open up to one another. It was about 4 a.m., and he turned to me with a tremor in his voice and wanted to speak to me about something he hasn't told many people. He explained to me that when he was in his early teens, his father sat down with him one night and told him that he had been visited by aliens, and that ever since that visit, these aliens have been fascinated with his father. He told his son, my friend, that when he's older, he has to expect to be visited by them, because they're weirdly fascinated with his family. Of course, he took it with a pinch of salt. However, according to him, he should have listened. A few years after that conversation, he claimed he was in his room, about to fall asleep, when he saw an alien-like creature in his room. Before he could sit up, he said he literally teleported into a room and was laid down on a metal plate. Yes, this seems like a stereotypical encounter. However, please bear with me. As he was laying there, he said that he felt an incision somewhere on his body. I can't remember the details exactly, I'm sorry. And that he was in agony where the incision was made. He said that he blacked out and then he woke up and in the following morning he was in his bed with a genuine incision on his body. He said for weeks after that bizarre encounter, he would have an eerie feeling that someone was watching him, was tracking him, and that at night he would hear static. Then it'll fade away. He's claimed to have been visited a few times. However, each time he's still worried and scared. Whilst he was telling me this story, it was a clear night sky with no noise or light pollution. He told me that every now and then, he'd look up in the sky and see what looks like a UFO traveling by slowly, and when they must notice he's looking at them, they'll shoot off quickly. As we were speaking about this, he told me to look up and with my own eyes, I did see what can only be described as an anomaly in the sky, moving slowly, but in a pattern and a few seconds later, it seemed to have sped up and then disappeared. I'm skeptical. However, he seemed genuine whilst telling me this, and the whole father encounter was very, very specific to be fictional. I work a pretty easygoing office job, and I consistently listen to podcasts while I do my work. That being said, I've always had an interest in the paranormal and the unexplained, so that's typically what I listen to. I was listening to an interview by Astonishing Legends with Terry Lovelace about the things he encountered and what he experienced from a camping trip in Devil's Den back in the 70s. To sum it up, he touched on what happened to him and a couple of things stood out to me. It reminded me of something that happened to me as a kid that I always chalked up to sleep paralysis but now it has me second-guessing myself. I must have been in the third or the fourth grade. At the time, we lived kind of on the edge of a bunch of farmland and woods. Our backyard opened up to our neighbors who owned acres upon acres of land, and to the left of that was just endless farmland and forest. We lived a few miles away from a really popular and huge dairy farm, but we were also a mile or two out from a main road that leads into town. I guess the point I'm getting at is we were kind of secluded, but not completely isolated. The Midwest is like that at times, I guess. My room at the time was in the basement, 
and the stairs that led down to it was right in front of our back door. I slept with my bed right in front of my bedroom door as well. It was summer break and after finally deciding I was tired, I went to lay down in bed. My memories go in and out at that point and there's missing spots in between because I think as soon as I laid down, I just blacked right out. I remember I just woke right up after passing out, and I'm not sure how much time passed between these two points in time, but I immediately looked at the foot of my bed, and the door to my room is wide open and there's this blinding light outside my room. I remember seeing this figure right in the doorway to my room. I couldn't make out any distinct features because of the light coming from behind it. All I got was an outline and the shape of how it looked. It must have been not that much shorter than me as I was a kid at the time. Probably around four feet, I think. It had huge bulbous head and a tiny body. In retrospect, it was shaped like a gray, but I don't know if that's a cliche to say. I just remember this utmost primal sense of fear, and I couldn't move. I've never experienced that level of horror before, and I haven't felt that feeling since. I was laying on my back in my bed and all I could do was stare at it. I was trying to scream but nothing could come out of my lungs, and I couldn't get up to run out or anything. I was completely paralyzed to that spot. I blacked out again, came to and it was closer, right at the end of my bed. At that point I tried screaming again and again and still, nothing would come out, and again, I blacked out. I came to that morning at the opposite side of my room, flopped across this little couch I had. It's hard to explain it too because there's nothing in between these points of time, it's just a blank spot. I tried to explain this to my mom but it was just chalked up to sleepwalking in a nightmare because I stayed up too late or something to that effect. For a while after that, I was horrified to watch any form of alien movie or even just anything in TV that resembled what that thing was shaped like. I would have a full blown panic attack and start to hyperventilate. I've gotten past that and that doesn't really get to me anymore. However, I still to this day cannot sleep with my bed in front of my door or with my door open. I don't even like sleeping near the door. I need to be as far away from it as possible. Even during the day. If I'm doing something in a room, I need to have the door closed. Having it open sends this massive feeling of discomfort and anxiety. I can't do it. I've experienced weird things throughout all of my life, but after a while and with growing up, I just always chalked it up to sleep paralysis. But I'm not so sure anymore. Can anyone offer any insight, or at least tell me if I'm crazy or not, because trying to explain it or even thinking about it, just makes me feel like I'm nuts. Yeah. This was when I was around three or four, living in my parents' old house before the one they live in now, at least at the time of this posting, which we've been in since I was probably five or so. Every night for a few months, I'd see through the eyes of something without hands and feet, moving down the street to my home then arriving at the gate and doing what I can only to determine to be some fourth or fifth dimensional movement because it was like seeing everything at once. Spinning for a brief second, then it's on the other side of the gate, not having moved it. Then the same with the front door. It would float up and get to my bedroom and float over to me and engulf me in its form. After a while I'd wake up, sore, stiff, like something was missing. After a couple months, I took the top bunk one night. My older brother usually had it, but I just flat out conked out entirely. Anyway, it does its thing and ate him this night, then recoiled in horror maybe, pain, maybe both, and looks at me looking at it as it tries to leave. It didn't even make it to the door. I started feeling healthier from then on. This thing had no physical form I could describe. No face, no hands, legs, or feet. Just a cloak. A really dark cloak that moved in ways you'd expect. Except you'd never see anything underneath and inside the head, arm, 
and um, the lower torso, from what I would assume, holes, it was just the absence of light. Like truly, if you were sat in a cave or something underground with no light source, you'd still see this darker than dark thing. It was that dark. I don't know if this is the right thread because I do believe it was going to kill me. I've since killed at least six of them. They are intensely injured by light, and thus projecting your mind as a powerful lighthouse. A beacon against the darkness, they are. It kills them. Still, sometimes I sleep with the light on. Growing up, I'd always hear that meme. If the boogeyman comes in your room, just hide under the quilt. You'll be safe. Legit thought it was about that thing. I freaked out a teacher or two when I asked if there was anything else I could do. They weren't helpful. So let's get this straight before I tell you the story. My dad is a stubborn, no bullshit type of old guy. He thinks aliens and ghosts, etc. are all a load of crap, and he wouldn't make something like this up. So basically here it goes. We're from England, and we live in the Midlands, and one night during the late 80s, my dad and his friend are out making hay in a tractor, in a field, when all of a sudden a bright flash of light appears, right in front of them, and there is a giant ship hovering in front of them. He's always ever told me it looks just like you'd imagine a spaceship. A disc shaped with light spinning around the edges. His and his friend had only just taken in what they were seeing before it darted off in the opposite direction towards the next village. So my dad gets on a CB radio because you know if you didn't have one of those in the 80s then who even were you? And he radios another farmer friend in that village and he sees it too. He even radios his wife, who then wakes his kids up and they see it too, before it darts away into the night. I always remember my dad telling me this story when I was a kid and although out of character for him to do, I just thought it was a cool story he made up. But a couple of years ago, his friend comes over, the one who was with him in the tractor that night, and I just happened to mention it and his friend remembers instantly and begins to describe it exactly how my dad did, which really makes me believe it was true. My dad still doesn't believe in aliens. He believes it was a spacecraft made by the government to spy on us, and they made it to look like a typical alien spaceship so people wouldn't think it was the government. God knows. All I know is I believe it happened, and it's cool as hell. When I was about eight, I had what I believed to be an alien encounter. I used to live in a deep country in McKinney, Virginia. The only thing I remember doing was I woke up with my pants and underwear off and walked downstairs because I felt incredibly thirsty. I walked into the doorway of the living room from upstairs and just stood there. My older brother told me to go put on some pants. I ignored him as usual and went into the kitchen. I went to get some water out of my fridge. I look out the window and I see this huge thing with lights rotating. I screamed. I dropped my cup and yelled for my brother, who comes and looks out the window and told me it was just a reflection off the window. But it wasn't because I never saw that again. He tells me he doesn't remember this, but I do. I also had a strange fear of aliens since I was three. And my parents never spoke to or introduced me to the concept. Another strange encounter I had at the same house was I woke up in the middle of the night. I used to sleep next to my younger brother because I was always scared of being alone as a child. And I turned. I saw an alien and it says greetings orders. I laid flat and stared at the ceiling and couldn't scream. And only air that came out with no sound. Can anyone please debunk this for me? I've looked into sleep paralyses and strange dreams, but... Ever since these two experiences, I haven't had any more. This happened to me as a child, probably 1996 to 1998 ish. Backstory I grew up in a very small farm town in Ontario, and like most people there, my family wasn't super rich. 
I shared a bed with my sister because of that. I had shared a room with her up until my dad left, and it was just us three. So my mom converted his workroom into my bedroom, one of the first few nights in my own bed in my own room. I remember being scared of a strange dream I had. I put dream in quotation because it was a very realistic dream that I'm certain wasn't only a dream. In the dream, I was in my backyard and everything was where it should be. Usually if I dream of a real life location I've been to, it's a bit off, like a house that isn't really there. But this was like being in my backyard. Then there were two very tall, thin humanoids chasing me in my backyard as if they were trying to grab me. In my dream, I began to run to the street towards a nearby church. I remember running so fast and not looking back. It was nighttime in my dream and no one was out, which was also weird because I usually dream of other people, not just of locations. While I was running down the street towards the church, everything on my street was exactly how it was in real life. All my neighbors' houses were exactly where they should be. Everything down to trees and random details. All the exact same. And I know that probably doesn't seem weird to dream of in the exact location you grew up in, but that's not how I dream. I remember all my dreams, I'm probably on the spectrum, and it was way too accurate to feel like this was my imagination. But I know it must be because I did wake up. It's when I woke up that I was scared the most. I was laying on my back and when I opened my eyes, I didn't see my ceiling. I saw three very thin shadows that illuminated an aura of white or very very pale blue. I was absolutely terrified because at this point, I knew I was awake and this was not a dream. I pulled my covers overhead and closed my eyes and cried until I fell asleep. From that day. I've been afraid of the dark and I tried to sleep with my mom up until an embarrassing age. I also cannot sleep on my back, only in the fetal position. If anyone else has had experiences like this, I'd like to hear about it.